all right guys in this video i'm gonna go over with you why i moved to midwest city and then some of the items that i really enjoyed while living there and maybe maybe those items might be something that you will really enjoy too so if you're relocating to moving to and moving within oklahoma city in the oklahoma city metro area and you're eyeballing midwest city maybe this video will give you a little bit of insight and a little bit of knowledge to add to your education of where you want to move to so if that's something you're interested in learning more about midwest city and the midwest city metro area then stick around because that's what we're getting ready to go over go over in this video thank you so much for stopping by today's video my name is josh barnett the team of agents over at XP Realty and I, we make these videos to help educate our customers just like you when they're relocated to, moving to, and moving within the Oklahoma City and Oklahoma City metro area, and especially like on this video, the Midwest City area. You don't forget, you've got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email so that the agents that I work with, XP Realty and I, can help you with all your real estate needs. Consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now, let's get in today's video. Video on why I moved to Midwest City and the things I liked about it after I moved there. Maybe you'll like them too. All right, the main reason I moved to Midwest City um, was I just got out of the military and I needed to go to school to get the GI Bill. So the closest school to me at that time when I'd gotten out of the military because I lived out in Hera, Oklahoma, was a school called Rose State College. You can see it right here on the map, Rose State College. It is one of those uh, two-year colleges where you get uh, what's called an associate's degree, an associate's degree, and I needed to use the GI Bill so that I, because when you get out of the military, you got to have income. You don't have income anymore unless you retired and you're getting disability benefits and stuff like that. You got to have income. So it was either get a job or go to school. I elected to go to school. So I immediately enrolled into Rose State College and started school there. That is the reason that I ended up moving to Midwest City. Now, some of the things that you're going to love, or at least I did, I loved about Midwest City was the affordability, folks. The affordability. Now, I, when I moved to Midwest City, I lived in these apartments right here called Rain Tree Meadows. Rain Tree Meadows. Really cool apartments. They had pools at the time I was there. They had pools. And at the time of this, uh, this aerial shot, they had pools. But it was a great apartment complex. I really enjoyed my time there. I actually lived right over here in this apartment complex. And right here is where you get your laundry done it has a laundry mat right here my unit did not have a laundry mat i had a one bed apartment with a kitchen it was awesome i really really enjoyed it and so this and i could literally walk to rose state college do you see that rose state college was less than two blocks away from these apartments so that was a huge benefit and a huge reason on why i moved over there because i could literally just walk to school folks it was such a great experience. So if you're thinking about moving to Midwest City and you're looking for super affordable housing, uh, those apartments when I was there were super affordable. I think back then, 21 years ago, I was paying, I think, $365 a month for a one-bed apartment. $365 a month for a one-bed apartment. Now, 21 years ago was a long time, so you definitely want to call them and check their current rates, but it was super affordable. One of the things, the, the second thing that I really loved about living in Midwest City when I moved there was the grocery stores. There are grocery stores everywhere. Now this, this is an updated map of all the grocery stores in Midwest City. Just look at them all. And remember, I was right off of, uh, I was right in Rose State College. So I was right around here, right around here. So, yes, that's exactly where I was at. I was right around here. So now, now you could walk to Sam's. You could walk to Target. You could literally walk to Target, folks. I, I'm not joking. This is Rose State College right here. You could walk to Target, and all along right here is a ginormous shopping center that was not there when I was there. And if you're in the military, just so you get perspective, Tinker Air Force Base is right across the street from Rose State College, and all this shopping. There's so much shopping. There's um, let's just zoom in so I can show it all to you. There's Lowe's, 
PetSmart, Office Depot, Target Grocery Store, Bricktown Brewers, Panera Bread. It's not even listing all the things that are here. There's a Navy Federal Credit Union there. There's a Cox store. There's a Verizon store. There's vintage stock. There is so much shopping that you can do right off of the I-40 and right next to Rose State College. So when I was living there, we had a super Walmart about off of Midwest Boulevard and um, Midwest Boulevard and what is this called? Uh, Reno? Is that right? Yeah, Reno and Midwest Boulevard. There was a Super Walmart. And nowadays you have a Crest Foods over there. And there's another Crest Foods right here. This is the one that I went to. And this Crest Foods was already here too. This was the original Crest Foods. So literally within less than a mile, I had all this shopping, even when I lived there. And even as you can see now, you've got a ton of shopping availability inside Midwest City. So thumbs up if you enjoy shopping. And if you've got questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to us. If you're getting ready to relocate to or move to the Midwest City area and you'd like to work with us, give us a call, shoot us, text, send us an email. The agents that I work with, EXP Realty, and I were absolutely here to earn your business when you're relocating to the Midwest City metro area. Okay, the fourth thing that I really enjoyed about Midwest City is look at this map right here. Let me switch over. Look at this map right here. It is so accessible to everything the whole southern boundary in midwest city like some of it is right on i-40 and then look at this how close it is to i-40 even when you're over here on the eastern side of midwest city it is so easy to access the highway and even highway 62 also known as 23rd street if you want to jump on and go to the capitol like if you work at the state capitol which is located where did the capitol go oh right here if you want to jump on the highway and go work at the state capitol, look how close it is. If you need to jump on the highway and go work at the OU Medical Center, OU Health Science Center, and the VA uh, VA uh, Medical, it's all right here. Look how close that is to Midwest City. You could, you could be there in less than 10 minutes. In less than 10 minutes, it's so close to so many employers in the metro. Midwest City is a great location, especially if you want more affordable housing and still being close to where a majority of the jobs are in the Oklahoma City market right there. And then, of course, don't forget Tinker Air Force Base and all those Air Force Base jobs are located right on the southern boundary of Midwest City. Look at that. Look how close that is. Is that not awesome? Thumbs up. Thumbs up if that's a great location. It absolutely is a great location. And then uh, the last thing that I really, really enjoyed while living in Midwest City was the parks. Look at this park right here. This park is huge. And let me switch over to the satellite view. This park, is, well, that's a golf course. Where's the park at? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. The golf course is just to the south of the park. But right here is the golf course. Uh, right here is the golf course. And then this park right here is huge. It's got a walking trail all the way around it. It's got uh, toys for the kiddos. It's got a dog park. It's got all sorts of stuff right here. And then there's also another park right on the other right there is the other park that's really big too and it has all sorts of fun stuff like in when i was going to rose state college when i got out of the military we would actually go down here and collect insects for my biology class like at this park at this park so midwest city also has some great parks it has a great big water park also that if you have little kiddos and you want to take them to the water park located uh, right off of reno let me get over there. It has this great big water park right here too. See that 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 right there is a giant water park. Like here's the little kiddie pools. Here's a giant water park. Here's the slides, all located off that first park that I showed you. And then it's got four basketball courts or two basketball courts that are always busy. And it also has these tennis courts located just to the west of the basketball court. So Midwest City's really done a great number with all the parks that it has to offer. And even working day-to-day -day real estate business, I find myself going to the Midwest City Library, the Midwest City Library to do work before I head home for the day. If, if I'm doing business in that city, I can stop at the library, do all the work that I need, get it all taken care of before I head home for the day. So 
Midwest City has some great things to offer still even in today's age. 21 years later, I still enjoy Midwest City and a lot of customers have enjoyed it too. So if you're relocating to move to or move within the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City metro area, you have questions about the Midwest City area, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. The group of agents that I work with, EXP Realty and I, we're absolutely here to help you when you're making that move. We want to earn your business. All right, guys, subscribe to the channel if you found this useful. There's tons of videos in the playlist that you can watch about all the different cities and all the rural counties in Oklahoma that we've put together over the years. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. I'll see you guys on the next video.